Sacred Gear Sacred Gears, Psychoridogia, also known as God's Artifacts, are items with powerful abilities bestowed upon humans by God of the Bible. They are one of the main points of interest in the high school DXD. The original God of the Bible created the Sacred Gears as part of his system to enact miracles on earth. Yudo Kiba has stated that certain individuals with Sacred Gears have grown to become very powerful and influential and that a large number of the people who've had their names etched into history were most likely Sacred Gear possessors. There can be more than one Sacred Gear of the same type such as Blade Blacksmith. Sacred Gears varies from the common twice critical to the rare Sacred Gear Twilight Healing, with the only exception being the Longinus, which are all unique in their own way. If a Sacred Gear is removed from the owner, they would die. Humans or human hybrids are the only species able to be born with Sacred Gears, however, they maintain them upon their reincarnation into devils and angels. The fallen angels from Grigori devised a ritual able to extract a Sacred Gear from the original owner and use it for themselves, this results in the death of the original owner. It is possible for a person to own more than one Sacred Gear at the same time. However, this almost always happens because the individual comes to a second or even more Sacred Gear through irregular circumstances than through birth. As an example, Yudo Kiba obtained his second Sacred Gear, Blade Blacksmith, from the light container he received from Valper Galilei, as inside the container was the soul of one of his former comrades who originally owned this Sacred Gear, allowing him to pass it on to Yudo. Another case is Mitsuya Kenzaki who isn't the original owner of Telos Karma nor Innovate Clear, but instead uses a special terminal to wield them. It is unknown why supernatural beings are never born with them, but in Volume 12, Kiba theorized it could be due to humans' desires to make them grow and evolve using various methods. Abilities Sacred Gears can have a variety of effects, such as Asia's Twilight Healing granting near-instantaneous healing and Siegfried's twice-critical doubling the power of the user. Yudo's Sword Birth, for example, can create demon swords imbued with different attributes, Examples include creating a sword that absorbs holy energy, a sword that devours flame, and a sword that absorbs wind. Desire Sacred gears are driven with the power of desire. And it also determines the power for it as well. Even though you are a devil, your will to desire hasn't been lost. The stronger you desire, the stronger your sacred gear will respond to you. Rias Gremory commenting on the abilities of sacred gears, Light Novel Volume 1. Sacred Gears can also adapt and evolve based on their wielder's thoughts, needs, and feelings, gaining abilities or qualities as time passes. This is stated to be the source of Balance Breaker, and suggested to be the source of the transformation into a subspecies. Balance Breaker Sacred Gears have an ultimate state of activation called the Balance Breaker, which is the most powerful manifestation of the Sacred Gear. Once reached, the Balance Breaker can be entered again far more easily than the first time. An incomplete balance breaker can be reached by self-sacrifice on the part of the user, such as when Issei sacrificed his left arm, allowing it to be transformed into a dragon arm. However, this sacrifice method does not count as a true activation of balance breaker. Reaching the balance breaker can be triggered by the feelings of its possessor. Balance breaker is said to be have been never intended, and that it was a flaw in the system created by God. Juggernaut Drive Juggernaut Drive is a special ability exclusive only to the Longinus Boosted Gear and Divine Dividing, and is considered to be a forbidden move. The Juggernaut Drive temporarily removes the seal placed on the Heavenly Dragons, and for users that possess insufficient power the Juggernaut Drive will drain the user's life force which is needed to fuel the power, and drive them insane in the process as they cannot handle it. For other sacred gears that have creatures sealed inside, such as the Regulus Nemia, their Juggernaut Drive goes under a different name called, Break Down the Beast, Burikadon Z.A. by Sudo. The true Longinus has a similar power as well, which unleashes the dying will of the god of the Bible called Truth Idea. Types Longinus Aside from the normal sacred gears, there are also the Longinus. Longinus are unique top-tier sacred gears, with each having multiple abilities compared to a normal sacred gear which only has one, and has the power to slay gods. This class of sacred gears are also known as the tools that destroy god. There are 13 Longinus in total. However, Azazel has stated that there is the potential for more sacred gear to eventually evolve into Longinus, under the right conditions. Also, Longinus and Balance Breakers were never intended to be created, and are considered to be glitches in the system. The Longinus class of sacred gears are named for the first sacred gear to achieve this level of power, the true Longinus. Artificial Sacred Gears It is possible for artificial sacred gears to be created. Azazel, the leader of the Fallen Angels and Grigori, 
has conducted countless research studies on sacred gears. He eventually managed to create his own sacred gear, the Downfall Dragon Spear, using the jewel that has Fafnir, one of the five dragon kings sealed inside it. Artificial sacred gears, however, are inferior to the real ones. The artificial sacred gears that Azazel researched and invented have several limits and side effects. For example, after some time has passed, an artificial sacred gear can cause fatigue after their usage and may affect both the powers and abilities of the wielder if said wielder uses them for long periods of time. Subspecies Subspecies are sacred gears that have taken on a unique characteristic because of the thoughts and feelings of the wielder. They are more powerful than the normal form of the same sacred gear, and will sometimes gain a new ability as well. Sometimes, both the sacred gear in its normal state, as well as the balance breaker will be a subspecies, like Siegfried's for example. Other times, however, only the balance breaker will be a subspecies, such as Yudo's blade blacksmith. Even Longinus can gain a subspecies balance breaker like Chow Chow's true Longinus Polar Knight Longinus Chakra Valdine or Serorg's Regulus Nemia's Regulus Ray Leather Rex. Issei has been told by Azazel that he should develop a subspecies for boosted gear. This suggests that subspecies can be made both intentionally and unintentionally. Sacred Gear Categories State Change Sacred Gears State Change Sacred Gears are a type of sacred gears that changes the state of a user or another person slash object. It can vary from doubling one's own power to having the power of others. There exists a subcategory of state change sacred gears called recovery sacred gears, which heal wounds. Known sacred gears of this type are Boosted Gear Divine Dividing Telus Karma Alfeca Tyrant Aegis Mineralization Twice Critical Prosolarum Phantom Ragnarok Asir Berserk Recovery Sacred Gears Recovery sacred gears are subcategory of state change sacred gears. It allows the user to heal wounds or restore another person's health. Due to their usefulness and rarity, recovery sacred gears are highly sought after by all factions. Sephiroth Grawl Twilight Healing Holy Resuscitation Creation sacred gears Creation sacred gears are a type of sacred gear that allows the user to create matter slash objects out of nothing. Known sacred gears of this type are Annihilation Maker Sword Birth Blade Blacksmith Strategy Trap Scouting Persona Defensive slash counter-based sacred gears Defensive slash counter-based sacred gears are a type of sacred gear that focuses mainly on defense and countering the attacks of the opponent. Known sacred gears of this type are Mirror Alice Night Reflection Sturdy Saint Twinkle Aegis Attribute slash elemental sacred gears Attribute slash elemental sacred gears are a type of sacred gear that incorporates different elemental attributes in its ability. Known sacred gears of this type are Zenith Tempest Incinerate Anthem Absolute Demise Nereid Kyrie Unknown Dictator Variant Detonation Flame Shake Sterling Blue Sterling Green Freezing Archaeopteryx Time slash space based sacred gears Time slash space based sacred gears are sacred gears that have the ability to manipulate time and or space. Known sacred gears of this type are Aeon Baylor Forbidden Baylor View Gravity Jail Dreamlike Curse Barrier slash ceiling sacred gears Barrier slash ceiling sacred gears are sacred gears that have the ability to create barriers or seal an opponent or ability. Known sacred gears of this type are Dimension Lost Innovate Clear Trick Vanish Applause Wall Independent Avatar Sacred Gears Independent Avatar Sacred Gears are sacred gears that takes the form of a living-like creature that moves and acts of its own free will and instincts. Among the embodiment type sacred gears, these sacred gears themselves have its own individual consciousness and instinct, as the wielder can command the sacred gear from a distance. Because of its nature, it often mimics a living thing, and the embodied beast-type sacred gears can also eat like a living creature. Independent avatar sacred gears that manipulate energy can make a huge amount of energy take a humanoid form, using it as a puppet. The embodied sacred gear can be made to not be visible to ordinary humans, and it can disappear or assume a smaller form that makes it easier to lead daily life than the true appearance. The advantage is that the user can issue instructions from a safe place away from the battlefield, but at the same time, 
the risk that the user is vulnerable is greater than other sacred gears, so the user is often physically weak. In the case of the beast type, if the sacred gear is attacked, damage may accumulate and it will be impossible for it to continue to fight, or for the beast to be sealed with a unique technique. It is said that it is necessary to go into the depths of the sacred gear and the soul of the sealed creature in order to enhance the ability, but there is a danger that there is a chance that the user could be replaced by the consciousness within the sacred gear. Known sacred gears of this type are Canis Lycaon Regulus Nemia Absolute Demise Incinerate Anthem Four Fiends Freezing Archaeopteryx Sealed Slash Contract Sacred Gears Sealed slash contract sacred gears is a generic term for sacred gears that have sealed a powerful creature inside them. These sacred gears are powerful, but if the creature inside the sacred gears isn't awake or if it's inactive, the user will only be able to use the minimal abilities of the sacred gear. As the user increases their ability, they will come closer to the sealed creature as they will be able to benefit from the sharpening of their senses and bringing them closer to resembling the creature sealed inside, but on the other hand, they will require to pay something important to the sealed creature as a price for sudden increase in power. While originally the god of the Bible forcibly sealed the various powerful creatures in the sacred gears, newer artificial sacred gears are created by the user having a powerful creature voluntarily sealing themselves into sacred gears under the condition of being paid a price for their service. Known sacred gears of this type are Boosted Gear Divine Dividing Regulus Nemia Canis Lycaon Four Fiends Downfall Dragon Spear Ragnarok Asir Berserk Twinkle Aegis Vritra's Sacred Gears Vritra's Sacred Gears are the sacred gears that have a part of the soul of the Dragon King, Vritra sealed inside of them. Vritra's Sacred Gears are considered trap-type sacred gears. Known sacred gears of this type are Absorption Line Blaze Black Flare Delete Field Shadow Prison Enhancements Chaos Break Chaos Break is a special doping for sacred gear made from the blood of the original Satans, created by the hero faction with the help of the old Satan faction. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.